thousands of acres burning across much of California and the American West. Devastation so widespread it can be seen from space. Millions of people's lives disrupted and at stake. What is causing this terrible epidemic? Global warming? A secret military directed energy weapon conspiracy? Or a much more reasonable explanation and dire issue? Hundreds of people poured Wednesday into the Northern California communities ravaged by the deadly campfire, searching for human remains, while authorities tried to track down 130 people who are unaccounted for after the blaze. The staggering death toll from the fire increased to 56 as eight sets of remains were found. California has dry, windy, and often hot weather conditions from spring through late autumn that can produce moderate to devastating wildfires. At times, these wildfires are fanned or made worse by strong dry winds, known as Diablo winds, when they occur in the northern part of the state, and Santa Ana winds, when they occur in the south. Wildfires in California are growing more dangerous as people build in rural burn areas. California averaged around 4,000 wildfires a year. This average has remained steady until 2011 when the number grew to almost 9,000 wildfires a year. There have been around 20 of the largest and most deadliest wildfires since 1932 happening in California. Recently on social media, users have observed some unusual anomalies with these most recent wildfires happening in 2018, and not just in California, but around the world. Observers on Twitter and Facebook have been posting photos and short video clips of bizarre burn patterns. Witnesses have said to have seen strange beams of fire shooting down from the sky just shortly before or during a large wildfire. Conspiracy theorists have concluded that a secret military weapon may have been used as a test or on purpose to cause these fires for invested reasons. The infamous quote by the Democrat mayor of Chicago, Rahm Emanuel, never let a tragedy go to waste to push your position, struck a truth-telling tone back in 2009, chilling most Americans to what they have been suspecting for years about our own government. Conspiracy theorists believe that people or groups within our own government exploit national tragedies for their political ambitions. Some say they even systematically produce red flag events in order to secure their agendas. Internet users on social media have pointed out that the unusual and bizarre burn patterns resembles that of a just discharged high energy beam melting steel in cars yet leaving dry trees untouched just meters away. Conspiracy theorists explain the United States Air Force awarded a team of Boeing, Northrop Grumman, and Lockheed Martin a $1.1 billion contract to develop and demonstrate a revolutionary laser weapon system to defend against a threat posed by theater ballistic missiles. 
under the terms of the Program Definition and Risk Reduction, or PDRR, contract awarded in November 1996, the three companies working together as Team ABL will build a test airborne laser weapon system mounted aboard a Boeing 747-400F aircraft. A new video cleared by the Department of Defense shows Raytheon's Phaser, high-powered microwave weapon, in a demonstration at the U.S. Army Fire Center of Excellence at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Raytheon used the Swarm Destroyer Phaser to bring down flanker and Tempest drones during the live fire demonstration conducted on September 30th and through October 3rd of 2013. Three years later, the Department of Defense has cleared the footage for public release. This evidence of technology has led theorists to believe that we do in fact possess the technology to produce high energy beams. They could be testing them or using them to set the already dry California forest ablaze, triggering a catastrophe. But why? Some are speculating that the motive could be to convince the public that climate change or global warming is a more serious and deadly threat today. Many globalists have billions invested into the clean energy market and are fueling the switch to these markets so they can benefit financially. Online theorists have noticed that the areas affected by the most recent deadly fire span the same regions as the proposed California high-speed rail system. These fires could provide a way for the government to flush out the residents from these areas to make an easier land grab for their endeavor while investors, contractors, lobbyists, and politicians stand to gain billions from the project. There also could be another explanation. Stringent brush clearing regulations were put into place in 1961 after one of the most notorious fires in the history of California, the Bell Air Fire, which destroyed nearly 500 homes in a neighborhood filled with celebrities. That fire was also driven by heavy Santa Ana winds, but it exploded because of chaparral that fed the devastating fire. California Governor Jerry Brown vetoed a bipartisan wildfire management bill in 2016, despite unanimous passage of the legislature 75-0 in the Assembly and 39-0 in the Senate. SB 1463 would have given local governments more say in fire prevention efforts through the Public Utilities Commission proceeding making maps of fire hazard areas around utility lines. In a gross display of politics, this is especially pertinent given that California fire and state media are now blaming the largest utility in the state for the latest wildfires. While hindsight is always 2020, California was on fire when the bill made its way through the legislature and onto Jerry Brown's desk. The 129 million dead trees throughout California state and national forests are now serving as matchsticks and kindling. California has seen a mass explosion in their homeless rate for the past 10 years, partially due to rising taxes, rising housing market prices, jobs fleeing the state to avoid high taxes and burdensome regulations, resulting in the loss of thousands of jobs, leaving some behind with nowhere to go. Recent new city measures that loosen illicit drug use ensure the homeless stay homeless. In turn, California has seen a steady decline in out-of-state tourism, resulting in the loss of millions of revenue that local businesses depend on for survival. 
influx of refugees from South America with a high rate of need for government assistance is not helping the situation. As the homeless problem rises, many are being pushed to the outer edges of town to set up camps in the nearby countryside, taking over whole camping sites in some cases. Unattended to fires are a suspected culprit for igniting at least some of these wildfires.